Happy. Welcome along here to Abbottstown in Dublin for the 2021 AIB Junior B All Ireland Camogie semi final between Nockanana of Wicklow and Full and Gales of Manchester. Game has just got underway. Um, team photos and uh, all the pre match shenanigans have been sorted and done. And Nockanana launched a first attack, but it's stopped there by Quiva Morris from uh, Full and Gales now. The Manchester outfit are on the attack here with midfielder Amory Guinan. Amory Guinan, that's a West Mead name, I think, if I, if, I, if I recall correctly, if it's the right person. Oh, Oh, the Pulling Gales are in for a goal here in the first minute. The Manchester outfit are away with a lightning start here. A goal in the first few minutes. Um, the number of the player I'll get when I come around, possibly the full forward if she if she started. Great start for Manchester. Just arrived in the country. You know, it's number 11, Michelle Rogers. Great. They've just arrived in the country this morning, an 8 o'clock flight, and they're away in a hack. Excuse the delays here now. We have to take notes as well as commentate. Uh, knocking on any attack now, looking to uh, repair the damage of that concession of the early goal. And um, they haven't lined out as per program. Number 23 is in. Number 23 is, of course, Sinead Byrne. Ball into the danger zone. There to deal with it is Sarah Fahey, the Full and Gales goalkeeper. Nice little dinky ball out to their number five, Kira Tumulty. I might be making a hames of the pronunciation of that one, but sure, we can do our best. And over carrying there, or uh, double catches it, has been, as they've been penalised with a free to knock on it. Trying to gather the nerves, settle the settle the breathing down. A lot of running before the match there with team photographs and the likes, but the free here from knocking on his number 13, Kira Warren, has gone to Rachel Bourne, the full forward. Rachel does well, keeps it in. Bob is going wide otherwise. She's out to the 21 now. We'll have a dink pass back to Kira. Kira might look to make amends for the earlier miss. The wind in her face, and she sends that a sweet strike over the bar. Beautiful strike from Kira Bourne. Uh, knocking one and knocking on his star attackers and uh, knocking on her off the mark. Early doors, just two minutes on the clock. One goal to Fulham Gales, one point to knocking on it. Fulham Gales, Gales puck out is guarded by the Rocket centre back. Emily Haddon for knocking on it, but uh, good placement by Fulham Gales there. They've won the breaking ball. Launch a long attack on you, born from mine. We'll gather this on the hurl. You would think she's under a bit of pressure from the goal scorer. Does well, gets the ball off to uh, Emily Mulhall. Emily, of course, last week playing with the Wicklow Ladies footballers in their narrow defeat to Longford, but the, her pass is not great. Shannon Goodlong will look to try and nullify the threat here, but there instead is uh, Alice Mulhall. Alice now surrounded by Pullen Gales players, doing her best. She uh, has had the ball robbed from possession. No hand up from the referee, and away comes uh, knocking on here. That's the number seven, Emer O'Sullivan. Emer now to Jesse Byrne. Jesse Byrne's shot is blocked there by is it Brona McDonald, the centre back. It is. Emer still trying to kick the ball clear of the danger zone. Bit messy and bit untidy here at this stage. But there's Jesse Byrne now. She'll go on one of her trademark drives through the middle. Gives it off to uh, Emily Haddon, the centre back. Emily Haddon looking for. Is it uh, um, Kira Byrne again up to Rachel? Rachel gets the ball on her, but the full back there is Rose McCarthy, the captain of the team from Fulham Gales, and she does well. Hacks the ball clear. It's going to go over the sideline. If it if it does, no, it doesn't. Amy Maher is there knocking on the midfielder. White helmet sends the ball into the into the danger zone, but there's the midfielder for. Full and Gales, it's Amory Guinan, shot blocked and blocked well, knocking on it out, good bit of possession here. It's uh, Roisin Byrne, Roisin gets a, a half shot under a bit of pressure, all the way harmlessly to uh, Sarah Fahey, the goalkeeper. She'll go long, long down here to Dervla Byrne. Dervla misses it, but we'll have a chance now. It's going to Emily Haddon, little tidy pass on there. Jesse Byrne, it's hit Emily Mulhall. No real cohesion yet for knocking on it, haven't settled. Roisin Byrne now in front, but gets the hurl there, does well, and it's hacked clear there by Orla McDonald for Full and Gales out over the sideline for a sideline ball. Great start for Full and Gales. I see their 21 is in from the start. That's uh, Neve Riley, managed, of course, by P.O. McCarthy. Great uh, newspaper article in the Irish Post there last week about their their thoughts and dreams coming into this here now. Here comes Sarah Byrne for knocking on it. She'll go for a pop at the post, but it's going to go all the way to the busiest player in the pitch at the moment. It's Sarah Fahey, the Fulham Gales goalkeeper. She sends it long down the field now. Bounces, gathered well by Dervla Byrne. Dervla skips clear, gives it off to Shannon Gautelon. Shannon Gautelon now sends a pass down here to uh, the number 23. This is Sinead Byrne. Sinead, of course, wife of uh, physio Paddy. Very popular man around knocking on it. Sinead sends it in. I think it's a poor strike from Sinead, though. Out harmlessly and harmlessly wide for possibly knocking on his first wide, I think. We'll make a note of that. As the puck out is about to be taken. Long down the middle. Comes again to Emily Haddon. 
seriously strong centre back very young very focused into Rachel Byrne lovely touch and the hurl gathers the ball now takes a turn under a bit of pressure as well dinky ball in not going to have the legs now up goes Fahi with the hand very reassured presence in the full and gale goals in the early moments of this game her puck out's not great though only to Jesse Byrne now Jesse has a runner in the form of is it Sarah it is or Kira and uh, under a bit of pressure there gathers now but off down in the corner Bullen Gales one goal, knocking on a point. It's Sarah Byrne. Ball into the midfielder Amy Mark. Can she get up into her hand? She does the pressure for Bullen Gales as immense. Three players around her. Gives a lovely pass off. Now something could possibly happen. Oh, great score for knocking on a wide from knocking on a wide from knocking on number 13, Kira Byrne. Unfortunate miss there. She had the time and space, but creating the possibilities, I suppose, that's the key. Fahi now. Breeze brisk behind her. Sending it down the field, blue skies above. Storm Eunice is in the pass now, heading over Germany at the moment as we speak here. Ball breaks. Jesse Byrne, good strength with the wrist there, holds the hard, gets the ball. Under pressure, three full and gales. Players descend upon her. Ball is only cleared as far as Dervla Byrne. Dervla, lovely sidestep, can she get a pass into the middle of the over carrying? She does. Not great though, ball. Emily Will Hall, lovely, classy little touch with the hurl. Only as far as uh, Neve Riley. Neve Riley gets her pass away, does well. Uh, Emily hadn't there again. They're going to have trouble getting past Emily all day if she's in this form. And she started off well. Her kick pass is only coming as far as the full forward. Quiva Morris. Quiva hacks clear. Oh, well played. Well played by Alice Mulhall. Has the ball in her hand. Gives it to Jesse Byrne now. They need to start some stringing some passes together. Lovely ball out to the wings here. To Sinead Byrne. Gets it into the hand. First time. Turns. Swings. Into Rachel Byrne. A dangerous woman. She's been chased by the full back Rose McCarthy. Team captain Full and Gales. Rachel Byrne. What can she do? Tries to get away. Does now into space. Kira Byrne is with her. She does. She winds up for the strike. Oh, what a save by the goalkeeper. Super save by Sarah Fahey in the goals. Out for a 45. Super save by Fahey, heading for the roof of the net from Rachel, from, uh, Rachel Byrne, who's a fierce shot in her arsenal when required. She is going to come out and take the 45 as well. Decent position for her, wind in her face. Early stages, seven and a half minutes on the clock. Full and Gaze leading by one goal to knocking on his one point. They're opening goal in the early stages. Rachel lifts and strikes. It's not going to have the distance. Landing in dangerously. There's Fahey. Very, very commanding presence. She started this game like a train. Her pass is going to go to Kira Byrne, though. I would think Kira's going to win this race now. Amy Mars out there with her. Rachel's calling for the ball. If she can see her in the middle, she does. Lovely pass now. Rachel has the time and she has the space. She winds up and she strikes. Has it gone to the left? Has it gone wide? It's gone wide, unfortunately. Wide for knocking on it. You hope they don't uh, regret those early misses. But they're creating the space, and the space is there in the Full and Gales full back line. Fahey's book out is long down here to the side where the, most of the crowd are gathered. Skips over the Full and Gales player, number 12, Saoirse Hannan. And away he goes, Derby Burn now. Stepping through the danger and challenge, and the hand passes out to uh, Imro Sullivan, does really well now. Or oh, Roisin Burn it is. Roisin Burn, red helmet, being chased hard by a hurdleless player. There's a push, surely a push to the referee. He says, Yes, it was. That's a knock and on a free. She lost her hurl back, hit down the field a bit. And she'll now go back and retrace her steps. And now, knock and on a free will be taken by. Take, take, won't be taken by Roisin. No, she's handing it over to Shannon Gotelon. Shannon will take this free down near the sideline. Rachel Byrne waits. Ball is into Rachel's directory. Gets a touch on the hurl. Roisin is back out here. Or Shannon is back out here. If she can see her, she does. Being closed down by the Full and Gales player. Shannon takes a lovely little shot. That's a fine score if it goes over. What a brilliant score from Shannon Gotlon. Straight over the black spot from a difficult angle. The ball from Rachel Byrne. Super from the knocking on a player. Two points to a goal, or a goal to two points, depending on where you're from. Puck out down the far side, where the team dugouts are. Skips past the Full and Gales player. Goes to uh, knocking on his number seven, Emer O'Sullivan. Ball now worked to this point score there. Shannon Godland sends it long down the field here, down to Emily Mulhall, who is not Emily Hall, Sarah Bourne. Oh, lovely little dink pass into Sinead Bourne now. Can she make it before it goes over the end line? She does. She will gather. Rachel Bourne is there, and so is Sarah Bourne. She tries to get up in the hurl under a bit of pressure. Needs to get a hand pass away. Doesn't. Ball is a. Uh, Free out, says the referee. A foul on the Full and Gales fullback, Rose McCarthy. While we have a. Hmm? 45 is it, sorry, 45. 45 is not going to. My loyal and trusty assistant has told me. 
<laughs> Kira Bourne is going to be the player taking it. Possibilities of breaks from the middle if anyone was to go there, but Fulham Gales are alert to that. She lifts and strikes, it's not going to have the distance. That's a fair old wind and it harms, harms, uh, tam, tails harmlessly wide. While we have a break, the teams, Fullen Gales, Sarah Fahey in goals, Quiva Mallon, Rose McCarthy and Rachel Wheeler in the full back line. Kira Tumulty, Brona McDonald, Orla McDonald, Amory Guinan, Gráinne Morn, Leanne O'Toole, Michelle Rogers, Saoirse Hannan, Claire Boos, Quiva Morris, Nisha Wallace. It didn't start like that, there are a couple of changes and we'll get to them maybe after the half-time break. Fullen Gales on the attack now, ball spills from... The players 21, Neve Riley can't get it up. Serious pressure from Knocking Anna. Four Knocking Anna players round and away they come now. Ball breaks Emer O'Sullivan and a free to Knocking Anna's as the referee, and he's looking for somebody. Looking to have a word. The shrill sound of the whistle suggested that there was a, an infraction of some kind, and it's a yellow card for Neve Riley. It's her punishment for a crime. I didn't see it myself. And a Knocking Anna free. As they trail by a goal to two points, the free is long. The free is gathered almost by uh, Amy Marr, but goes instead to uh, Sinead Byrne. Pass into space. Roisin Byrne will do well. We'll get her, gather this. Rachel Byrne waits inside. Has options. Goes for the pop. Has it? It's <laughs> snuck in by the left hand upright. Great score, and we're all square here in Abbottstown in the 2021 AIB Junior B Camogie fi semi-final. Fahey puck out, long, getting great distance with the um, wind at her back, but Emily, Emily Haddon is there again, off to Jesse Bourne, Jesse Bourne out to the wing here, will be gathered by Claire, uh, Kira Bourne, Kira, lovely strike, natural hurler down across to Sarah, missed by Sarah, now Rachel will get into the hand now, what the damage can she inflict here, goes around the full back, bearing down on goal, this is the moment for Rachel Bourne, struck, saved, comes to Sinead, Sinead, what a block by the full Gales defender. Sinead, oh, great stuff for Fahey, the goalkeeper. Sinead Byrne is still there, the attack is still alive. It's hacked clear over the end line for another 45. How was the shot kept out? Rachel Byrne bearing down the goal, you'd put your house on it. Out for a 45, though. Kira Byrne awaits. Difficult to see who saved it, possibly it was Fahey, was it? Or possibly the full back, maybe, but Rose McCarthy, but uh, Kira Byrne. We'll take this 45 on the Astro here in Abbottstown. Fantastic facility. She lifts, she strikes, she's finding her range. That's a wonderful score by Kira Byrne. Super sore. And knocking out to take the lead for the first time in this game. Thirteen minutes. Fulham Gales haven't scored since the first. A worrying statistic for them. Fahey's puck out down the far side, long, coming down top of um, Knocking on this Emer O'Sullivan, but it's going to be won here by the corner back. That's uh, Alice Mulhall. Alice started brightly in this game so far. A fine young player. We'll look to get the ball recycled in to the middle here. There's Anya Bourne now. It's trustworthy on it. Rarely makes a mistake. Always ready and willing in the action, but it gives her a pass only as far as the Full and Gales midfielder. That's Amory Guyne. She sends it long down to the knocking on the goalkeepers, who is, of course, Loretta Mutton. Made famous by that the uh, video there after the uh, Leinster final. Ball walloped clear there. Ah, oh, gathered or broken well by the uh, Fulham Gales half back there. But Kira Bourne is prowling around looking for scraps and she has got that one and sends the ball along down to Sarah Bourne now with Roisin Bourne off her if she needs Sarah will get the ball into her hand if she can now the space opens up she's lost her marker away goes Sarah Bourne Rachel has pulled away uh, but she doesn't need her Sarah sends the ball over the bar that's knocking on and starts to stamp their dominance on this game five points to a goal they lead And you would have to say there was a sniff of a goal chance there if they had wanted it. Now, Fulham Gales, what can they do here? Oh, well hooked. Well hooked by uh, Shanna Gotelon. But uh, Fulham Gales still in possession here. Hacked the, drive the ball forward, but only as far as that woman again, that's Emily Haddon. Emily does well, but a bit messy from both sides here. Now, we have uh, Neve Riley. Recent receiver of a yellow card, sends it long. Done really well there as Dervla Bourne does really well, gets her hand pass off to Shanna Gotland and she will send it long now, relieves the pressure. Out comes Sarah Bourne, it's going to go over her head, no, gets the hurl to it, lovely. Can she get the ball up to her hand? Amy Maher is there with her. Kira Bourne is running off her shoulder. Coming out from the corner forward position, she's playing in the half forward line. Sarah Bourne can't get the ball up though, she's under savage pressure from the Fulham Gales cornerback. That's Quiva Mallon. Put the ball now with Shanna Gotland in a bit of space, sideline. Sends it long. Kira Bourne is underneath this, looks to flick it on. Ball spills, can't get, neither side can get 
the ball up and to their hands. Roisin Byrne is there and she can. Yes, she can. And she drives away now. Players peel away in little runs. Lovely to Amy Marr now. Amy on. Clear into space. Now she gets it up here. Serious threat of a goal here. Amy Marr strikes only as far as Fahey. And Fahey won't be beaten with a shot like that. She sends the ball long and clear to the middle of the field. Entertaining stuff here in Abbottstown. Emily Haddon again. Putting her stamp on this game. Gives it to Sarah Byrne. Long but only as far as Fahey. Oh, Fahey spills it. And it's got into the back of the net. Oh, unfortunate for Full and Gales. She didn't need it. She didn't need it. It was unfortunate. But it uh, could be a, a very tough blow to come back from. And a uh, Full and Gales player re requiring attention. Shannon sent him all in with him. Yeah. 16 minutes played here. Knocking on a leading 1 5 to a goal. Fulham Gales really struggling to break down this knocking on the defence. Uh, Emily Hatton has proven to be a serious obstacle in centre back. But uh, they have a threat and they can possibly harvest some scores or making a change over there. Cornerback has been replaced. That'll tell you the threat of the knocking on the full forward line. Number four has left the play. After 16 minutes. Uh, I can't see the number of the player who's replaced her, but we'll get there shortly. And it's uh, number five, I think, is it? Kira Tumulty. No, she, I thought she was already on. Fahi's puck out. Our free is. Our, our puck out, actually, yeah. Long down the field. Knocking on again. Hungry under the breaking ball. They're winning a fair percentage of these at the moment. And it's reflecting on the scoreboard, one fight to a goal. Ball out here to uh, Emily Haddon. Spills her pink wrapped hurl. Oh, handle on the ground there, unfortunately. Full and Gales free. Can they reap a dividend from this? Neve Riley leaves the ball down on the 65. Taken by the centre back, Brona McDonnell. Brona lifts and strikes. It's a decent enough effort. This is a dangerous ball. Into the square. Oh, yeah, Loretta Gilbert does really well. Watched it all the way. Only for her. That ball was in the back of the net. She's done really, really well now. Her. The clearance is only as far as uh, Riley again. Riley under serious pressure from Jesse Byrne. Out to the number 10, Liano Tool sends the ball in, but only as far as knocking on the defender there who ready and waiting. That's Alice Mulhall. Out to Jesse Byrne now again in space, gives it off to Emily Mulhall now. What can Emily do with it? She's going to send it long down into the middle of the attack. There's a sweeper there waiting to block out the possession. Gets a touch of the hurl, races out. Can she rob it? She can't. No, she can't. That's the midfielder, Amory Guinan. Amory long down the field here to Jesse Byrne or to Shannon Gotelong. Can't gather it in the palm of the hand. Did her best of all. Disrupts the, way. the Full and Gales player, does really well. Now Roisin Byrne. Can she gallop into space? She can. Full and Gales can't catch her. A player coming to her. A little dinky pass on to Sarah Byrne now. Sarah, white helmet. Can she gather the ball? Perilously close to the line. Still in possession. Gets it up now. Breaks into space. Hurl across for Sarah Byrne. Can't break it now. Looking for Rachel. Ball is hacked clear by Amy Marr. Sinead Byrne is looking for it at the far side if she can see her. Finally gets it up on the hurl now. Crossing the 45. Amy Marr. Teak tough. Blocked, blocked well by Guinan. Sinead Byrne should win this though you would think now. Galloping into space. Ball falls off the hurl. Gets it back up. That's fair play to her. But the hand pass is chronic. Kira Byrne is there though. She can hopefully profit from this. Kira winds up the strike to Fahey. Oh look at the stick work. Fantastic. Long clearance down the field. Emily Mulhall is under this. Gets the, gets the hurl to it. Oh wicked stuff from Emily Mulhall. Gathers it. Gathers it into space. Roisin Byrne is there. Emily Mulhall. Long. Down the top of Fahey again. Sarah Byrne is there but again. So I know she's made a mistake. There's a free out. She's won a free out for her side. She's made a mistake but she's been one of the star performers for Full and Gale so, Full and Gale so far. Wicked strike from the keeper. All the way down there. Emer O'Sullivan can't gather. Ball at the feet of Emer again. Jesse Bourne is there as well. Michelle Rogers competing hard. Jesse Bourne's going to win this one though. Emer, yes, gets it into a second attempt. Pass there into a bit of space, but the Fulham Gales player was the first to react. Kira does well. She will get this ball now. What can they do? Knocking on a long pass in. The sweeper's there. Going in. Can she get there first? She can, but she spills the ball. Sarah Byrne and Roisin Byrne charging down. Got a good hack clear. Shannon Gotel on. Putting pressure on. Good. Disrupted the move. And now, hopefully, it will win the possession back. Roisin Byrne. Can't get her. Good pressure. Good hurling. 
Hand went down there in a dangerous position. Gotlon adds to it. Sarah Bourne. Gotlon's going along as she wants her. Has support. There through the middle. Oh, what a pass. Sinead Bourne. She had it in the hand first time. Could have been damaged. Under pressure now. Rachel's hovering. Sinead winds up. Strikes half blocked. Will be added by the full back. Rose McCarthy. Rose adds to it. Gives it out to the half back. Kira Tumulty. Rachel Byrne charging hard. Doesn't get it. Good clearance. Down here to the centre back. Brona McDonald hits the deck and wins a free off Roisin Byrne. Roisin doesn't seem to agree 100% with the decision, but it will stand nonetheless. And I think it's Amory going in, trotting out to take this free. Black shorts. Emily Haddon retreats back. Sweeping in front of her full back line. Good puck down the field. Coming as far as Dervla. Ball in the hand. Dervla does well. Hand pass in to Shanna Gotelon. Leg strapped. Long down the field to Sinead. Sinead puts the paw out. Misses the ball. Grandi Moran will win the race, you would think. Sinead's there back to disrupt as well. And in comes Rachel. Brave stuff. Kira Byrne. Sarah Byrne is trotting up the far side here. No one's catching her. Now Rachel has it in hand. Surely no one misses. Now moves breaking down. Ever so slightly, Guinan is coming out here and boots it clear into safety to the centre half back, Brona McDonald now. Full and Gales, what can they do? Haven't scored since the first minute. It's now the 21st minute. Ah, uh, Emily Hatton. Savage again, only as far as Guinan though. They need to find a, a source with the with the passes. Quiva Morris the full forward. Full and Gales uh, attacks are perishing in the knocking on the half back line. They just can't get past them. Off over the far side now. Energetic play. Kierborn now comes out with a rook. Stylish player as always. Lovely hand pass now and away goes Emily Mulhall. The speed demon from Cross Bridge. Ball spills. Jesse Byrne is there. Oh, good block from the uh, from Kira Tumulty. Now, Amy Marr. Two players. Strides past Amy Marr into space. Look at Sarah Byrne just across from her. Gives it to Sarah. What can she do? Can't get her under serious pressure from Quiva Mallon. Rachel Byrne now has, pos has possession. Rose McCarthy closing her down. Roisin Byrne is there beside her if she wants. If she gets past, she'll have a lovely effort at a shot. Now, this is Rachel's zone. Winds up. Strikes. And sends the ball high and over the bar for knocking on a great score. She deserved it in fairness to her for all the effort she put in there. 1-6 to a goal. Knocking on a lead. As Fahey takes the puck out, far side, down top of Emily Mulhall. Emily's had a fantastic start to this game. Lovely little dink off to uh, Kira Bourne as she wins a free for an accidental trip by the Fulham Gales. Centre forward, Michelle Rogers. 23 minutes on the clock, Emily Hatton takes the free down to Sinead Bourne. Sinead has done really well in this game after uh, being introduced. We're number 23, Rachel can't get the ball up first time, closed down by the full back, now what can she do, she's right on the end line, far side now, needs to get the ball, recycled somehow, does really well, Kira Byrne will do well to control this, goes to Amy Marr, but Kira will win this race now, she has a runner with Jesse Byrne if she wants her, Kira just strides on, into the scoring zone, and sends the ball high and over the bar, great score from knocking on it, when they hit the form, they are a stylish outfit you have to say, and they are on a mission this year to uh, repair the hurt, of that all Ireland final defeat only a short while ago. Fahey now. Having an excellent game so far, bar that one mistake. Puck out long down the field. She's getting great distance with the wind at her back. Ball will break over. <coughs> and again, Fulham Gales really need to address the issue with Emily Haddon sitting there mopping up. Mopping up ball after ball. Here's Guinan, the other sweeper. Down the field, long. Anya Bourne awaits this one. Anya Bourne, solid as a rock. Ball breaks to Shanna Gotelon now. What can Shanna do? Sends the ball long, but only as far just over the head of the centre back to Roisin Byrne. Roisin, little touch, took it away from herself, put herself under pressure. Now with Orla McDonald on to uh, Neve Riley. Emily Mulhall challenging hard. Oh, Emily Mulhall does superbly well. Gives it to Amy Marr. Amy Marr with the full forward. Quiva Morris. Amy Marr strides past. Look at the stride. She's eating up the ground, galloping over the acres. Lovely ball now to Rachel Byrne. She has a runner with Kira Byrne if she wants her. She turns and she strikes and she sends the ball wide to the left and wide for knocking on it. Good effort. She had Kira Byrne if she had seen her. One seven to a goal. Again. Emer O'Sullivan does well. 
Emily Mulhall ball breaks to that woman again we've said her name umpteen times and we'll probably say it a couple of hundred more before the end of this game Emily Haddon gives Emily Mulhall now they're starting to play a little bit they're starting to express themselves Jessie Byrne long down the field here Sinead Byrne wasn't a little alert but she's going to win this breaking ball does well with under a bit of pressure now two players on her ah oh, super stuff from uh, from the Full and Gales defence God. Still in possession, knocking on it. Jesse Byrne. Sinead Byrne. Oh, this could be good. Rachel into the hand now. She, oh, good. She was stood up well. The hand pass across. Danger here. Oh, Sarah went for the uh, theatrical flick. Missed it. Fahey's out to claim it. Sarah putting serious pressure on her. Ball. Dangerously spinning around the, the square. Here's Sarah Byrne. Oh, the savage defence there. In fairness, and out for a 45. Possibly knocking on his fourth, I think. He's uh, unhappy with the decision. But Kira Borna waits the ball and the umpire checks into a short of position. No ball, no, find no sign of any ball here at the moment. So here it's going to be sent out by Sinead. Now Kira Borna. With a 45 win in her face, knocking on a leading 1 7 to 1 goal. 26 minutes on the clock, ball is sent in and ball is sent wide by Kira Byrne. Sarah Fahey restarts for Full and Gales, the whistle sounds. Wide ball from the small square, says the referee. Minor detail, but we'll go back for the restart. Long day on the Fulham Gales um, brigade in fairness, leaving England this morning and having to practice the journey eight o'clock tonight. Very long day. A victory would make the journey easier, but at this point in time, knowing that they're going to have to face the second half against the wind, it's looking unlikely at this stage. But we'd never say never. Well, she burned now in possession. Took the pass from uh, Darren LeBurn. Oh, strides on past Riley. On goes Roisin Burn. We'll have a dink pass into Sarah, but it's a little bit. On the risky side, given the presence of the Full and Gales defenders, Amy Maher is there, does well. Hockey's the ball clear for herself. Can I get it up though? And uh, now she'll use her physical strength and look to go past here. She does. Fine player, fine athlete. Out here to uh, Sinead Byrne. And Kira Byrne is there to help Sinead. Does well, gets the ball up in a split second. Strikes past and knocking on a flag. Buffeting in the wind. She's going to wind up for a bit of a strike here. Rachel Byrne is in there. Rachel keeps it in superbly well. Real poacher instincts on Rachel. Out to Sarah. She has a bit of time if she can get it up quickly. Doesn't get it up. Wastes that extra second, but she strikes through a gap there. Sinead Byrne lifts and strikes, but only as far as the palm of Fahey, the Fulham Gales goalkeeper. Sends it long out the field. Will it be good for a sideline ball? It won't. Oh, well done by uh, Claire Bouse. Which is really well there, but uh, they just can't get out in front of the knocking on it. Defence, Anya Bourne is there, she will pack that clear to Jesse Bourne now, we have a player over here on the far side, if we can get it out, Alice Mulhall, Emily, Emily Hatton I mean, Emily Hatton number six, does well, Roisin Bourne, in a bit of space, Guinan comes to charge her down, Roisin does well, on, has it on to Sarah Bourne, Sarah lovely touch on the horn, now Roisin has continued on as she sees her, no, on goes Sarah, Rachel there for a pass, gives it to Rachel now, lovely touch on the horn, Rachel skips pass here now, bear down the goal, another chance for Rachel, and another save from Fahey! What a save from Fahey! Super, super from Sarah Byrne to stop the ball from being cleared by Full and Gales, but Guinan does really well and hacks that ball clear. Alice, or Sarah, uh, Sarah Mulhall. Emily Mulhall, I mean, Emily Mulhall does well. Shannon Goatel on there helping her out. Ball into the danger zone, but only as far as Full and Gales does well. Number seven, Orla McDonald, under pressure from Sarah Byrne. Riley on the deck. The referee blowing a whistle for, for a ball, I would imagine. What about this full of Gales goalkeeper? She's having a serious, serious game. Another point black sa save from uh, Rachel Byrne. Really should be putting him away, but it was a decent height for the goalkeeper to stop, but she still had to stop it though. Guy is probably one of Full and Gales' best players so far in this first half. He's a really intelligent camogie player. Centre back here, Ronan McDonald gives it back to Guyan now, skips clear. We'll look to make a bit of ground. Ball is out, says the Lions man. Super ball, sideline ball. Tried to find a gap to 
Roshi Murray. Roshi could possibly make it, but no. Goes as far as Kira Tumulty. Kira loses the ball here. Kira Byrne, another Kira. No, oh, I don't think pick up from Kira. Kira Byrne ahead of her. Kira thinks she doesn't need her. She sends the shot in. And the shot drifts over the, over the bar. There's one number. The other number says, it is a point. It is a one man said wide. That would be the fun game so far. Super well wide. Yeah. Give it that a difficult angle. Fair enough. One eight to a goal. And the clock just takes over 30 minutes of this Junior B All Ireland semi final. Fulham Gales launch a rare attack, but there is Anya Bourne again to break up the the uh, the danger. But uh, ball spills here. Fulham Gales really need a score for the end of this half to really give themselves any hope in the second half when they go against the elements. 1 8 to a goal, they trail. Good strike there, super strike there from the centre back. Has it went over the bar? No, it's tail to the left and tail right. Could have really done with a score there. The referee calling for the ball. He is he's calling for the ball. The half time break has been called here in a breezy Abbottstown, but dry, thank God. As knocking on it, go into the half time huddle, leading Full and Gales of Manchester by one goal and eight points to a goal. Full and Gales grabbing the goal in the first minute of the game. Unfortunately, find it knocking on a defence, especially the half-back line, with Emily Haddon in fine form, uh, too much to break down. Uh, I think I think they may find the second half tough going. But listen, join us back in a few minutes, and uh, we'll see how it unfolds.
Sorry for the lead here. It's the second half. We joined us now with one nine to four games. Or not really. One, one goal to four games. Uh, we got sight out there. We had to take three pictures. The uh, day job, <coughs> so we got the lead, but uh, knocking on the attack now. Shannon Gotland with their only points of the second half so far. And now Kira Byrne is uh, rampaging into the Fulham Gales territory. She has a player ahead of her, Sarah Byrne. Ops not to go for her, sends it long into Fahi, comes off Fahi's hurl. And the full back, Captain Rose McCarthy, does well and helps it on out, but only as far here as uh, Kira Byrne again. Kira, oh, fouled, surely. Advantage being played out to Rachel. Rachel will wind up for a strike. Shot to nothing, as the lad says. That's going to be a beautiful score for Rachel Byrne as advantage was being played and possibly a name to be taken here by the match referee. One ten to knocking on a one goal to Full and Gales. And we have 11 minutes gone in the second half. So Full and Gales goalkeeper, Sarah Fahey, normally a midfielder I believe. And uh, I think injury has curtailed her exploits today and has they've repositioned her into the goals. And I tell you, she might consider the position from the, for the foreseeable future given her performance of here so far in Abbottstown in the AIB Junior B Camogie semi final of 2021. Sideline ball for Fulham Gales, far side of the pitch here. Wind in their faces in the second half, making their job even the, all, the, all the more harder as they trail by 10 points. Big jets flying overhead from Dublin Airport. <coughs> Sideline puts scuttles along the ground as far as Shanna Gotalon. Shanna under a bit of pressure. Full and Gales doing everything right bar the action in the final third. They just cannot make it the scoreboard count or tick over. Knocking out of defence is being is proven to be ruthless. Here's one of the most ruthless of them all, Anya Bourne, the full back. Lovely pass here to the uh, her her other defensive stalwart. Emily Haddon, Emily under a bit of pressure though from the Fulham Gales centre forward Michelle Rogers. But there is Jesse Byrne now, Jesse number eight in her back, striding out the field, long ball onto Kira Byrne who has a bit of space there from Quiva Mallon now. Kira Byrne looks to turn inside, does so. Striding into a bit of space here. Mallon doing her best to get back. Kira sends the ball along to Rachel Byrne, but it's coming to Fatty the goalkeeper. Fatty does her best, but Rachel Byrne has poached that ball. It's what she's probably best at poaching and scoring out to Kira Bourne she's taking a knock has Rachel Kira Bourne sends the ball in but it's gone to the, le to the left and wide and Rachel now has is holding her ankle down on the field and physio Paddy should be in there any second you would think but another wide for knocking in it puck out for Fahey coming as far as Imro Sullivan doesn't get it the first time under a bit of pressure from Claire Boos does well though sends it on here to uh, Sinead Bourne Sinead now that icy wind is blowing, Sinead winds up for the shot off the right hand side but pressure was pressure was put on it and the shot goes as far as the goalkeeper. Definitely the star of the show in terms of uh, Full and Gales, maybe Amory Guinan taking second place in that regard. Emily Haddon now, striding past, rise the challenge, dangerous ball in now, if Kira can get the ball up here we have potential Kira lifts, Kira strikes and Kira oh, another save, another save out for a 45. She's unbeatable nearly, lads, this, this goalkeeper. Almost, bar one mistake. you back here or there nearly every time. And uh, it's, it will be Kira herself, the shot taker. A substitute for knocking on it, Sinead Byrne being replaced here. We'll just take note of the substitution. 16 for knocking on it in. 14 minutes on the clock. Kira Byrne standing over this 45 wind at her back. You'd fancy her chances all day long. She's pulled it to the right though and pulled it wide. Another wide for knocking on it. it. Definitely things to work on for the final, which you would think that they should be there. Byrne a complete, another disaster. It's Emer Mutton who came in there for Sinead Byrne. A good shift from Sinead in fairness. Uh, wouldn't have started any of the games in the last few months. But done well for herself there in the full forward line. Now Kira Bourne again, busy, tenacious as always, under a bit of pressure there from Orla McDonald of Full and Gales. Amy Marr doing her best to get it up. Hasn't really dominated today, but has been busy around the middle of the field in the trenches. Now Shannon Gotland striding through now. What can you do again? The ball, the break, the move breaks down just at the last second. 
but not cleared by the uh, centre back Ronan McDonnell now with Sarah Bourne white helmet 15 on her back she lifts and she strikes and I think that's a sweet one over the bar from Sarah Bourne they're finding the gaps 111 to a goal One eleven to a goal, almost 16 minutes on the clock. Fahey's book out says always excellent. It's when it comes to the warfare, knocking on are coming out more times than the Manchester based outfit. Emily Hatton does well, gets her body over that ball. <coughs> she won't be budged. Pass neat down to Sarah Bourne. Sarah does well. Silky on to Rachel Bourne onto the hurl into space will look to stride pass here Kira Bourne's going ahead of her she gets the ball in now can Fahey be beaten for the second time she can back in the net from Kira Bourne beautiful move from knocking on a Sarah to Rachel to Kira sweet strike and Fahey unfortunately because of her efforts today she doesn't deserve it but she's beaten for the second time Two eleven 11 to a goal. All over now, Bar the shouting. Shanna Gotalan crossing the 45. Lovely ball to Rachel Byrne now. Can she find the space? Here's there with her. Was that off the ground? No, it wasn't. Rachel turns, lifts, strikes. Send it into the, the goalkeeper. She does well. Sends it clear. Only as far as Emer O'Sullivan wearing number seven. Tenacious half back. Sends the ball in again. Touches the hurl of uh, Kira Byrne. Booed clear there. Only as far as Ian Russell will again, lovely little instinctive flick up to Rachel Bourne. She winds up and she strikes and she sends the ball blazing over the bar. Great score from Rachel Bourne. All coming from Ian Russell's little instinctive little flick off the uh, AstroTurf here in Avertown. 1 12 to a goal. Change for Fulham Gales. Half back, number five. Kira Tumulty going off. And replacement number we can't see it as of yet 17 minutes on the clock puck out from Fahey down here to uh, Dervla Byrne Dervla does well on the knees going to gather this ball up can't the pressure from Guinan there's lots there's serious hurling in Amory Guinan but it looks at things now Mutton the substitute sends it across to uh, Roisin Bourne and Sarah Bourne is there as well it's number 17 is in for Fulham Gales Sarah Bourne now skips past the challenge now she's into a bit of space now danger here for the Manchester outfit oh lovely flick pass to Rachel she's surely finished no way this lady just cannot be beaten well more or less well, what another a point blank save from Rachel Bourne out to Jesse Bourne ball breaks the substitute number 17 Claudia Slattery Amy Marr into, into Fahey and she has kept that in on <laughs> outrageous little stroke of the hurl and sends the ball out the field. Shanna Gotalon is there. Ball will break here to the other cornerback, Alice Mulhall. Alice does well, sends it on to Roisin Byrne. Little touch on the hurl. We'll look to skip past Slattery to substitute, does so. Guinan, arm spread, trying to block her way. Roisin runs into a bit of trouble, looks to recycle, poor. Guinan does well now, can she get it up? Slattery to substitute is there. As is Sarah Bourne, and it's got it's Sarah Bourne. It is races away from danger, winds up, kicks it clear. Going to be hooked. Kira Bourne can't get it up. Does now. Kira lifts, strikes, guided on the ground, tries to block. That's brave. There's something wrong. Muscular injury of some kind. Play still going on. Here we go, Sarah Bourne. Only as far as that lady Fahi in the goals. Emily Haddon does well. One handed swing at a hurl. Dervla. Under a bit of pressure here now. I think there's a, she hit the deck a few minutes ago. Another one-handed swing. Heavy traffic onto Shannon Gotalon. Lovely lift, lovely strike, but it's going to tail wide unless Sarah Bourne can do something. She does, she keeps it in, but only as far as the goalkeeper. Down as far as Haddon skips here to Emily Mulhall. Sends it back in with a bit of interest to Kira Bourne. Kira can't get the ball into the hand. Works into a better position. Emil Mutton, another one-handed swing. Three in the last two minutes. Referee is tipped him on the top of the head, so I think he's going to call the ball back for a throw in. Almost 20 minutes on the clock, knocking on a leading by 2 12 to a goal. Game over as a contest. All about pride now. Can Fulham Gales get another score on the board? Jesse Byrne is doing her damnedest to prevent that. Gives it off to uh, Rachel. Ah, oh, lovely stick work from Rachel to full forward. Can't get a shot off because of the pressure from the half back. Gives it into Roisin Byrne. Roisin, little swing, dangerous. 
Bad clear buddy, full back and captain, Rose McCarthy, only as far as Sarah Byrne. Sarah out here to Jesse Byrne now in a bit of space, has the time, has the distance, possibly dropping down and dropping wide. Dropping wide. Ten minutes to go in this game. Knocking on a you think safely through to the All Ireland final. Their second in the number of months, Roisin Byrne makes way. Roisin Byrne, number 12, makes way for knocking on it. We'll get the sub name and number in just a second. The puck out comes as far as Emily Mulhall. Emily now. Lovely hand pass off to Shannon Goatland. Shannon, if she looked up there, Haddon was running clear, but the pass is well, not great. Only as far as Amory Guinan. Amory, oh, what a hook from Emily, ha Emily Haddon. Super stuff, but Guinan as well gets it again. Sends it on, only as far as Dervla Byrne. Dervla into the back, surely. No, says the referee. Emer O'Sullivan is there. Emer bends, now she has Sarah Byrne. Or Kira Byrne up here ahead of her if she can get to her. Emily Mulhall will have a second chance. Derva is there in the middle, gives it to her. Can't take it the first attempt. Does it a second attempt. <laughs> Three Fulham Gales players on her. Hand pass off to Jesse Byrne now. Quick and knocking on a make. Second attempt into the hand. Here comes Jesse Byrne now. We'll send it on with interest. Only as far as the midfielder from Fulham Gales. That's Grania Moran. But now, Kira Byrne into a bit of space here, coming to the edge of the D, lifts and strikes, and I think that's a fine score, is it? A fine score from Kira Byrne, the knocking on the attacker. Super, super strike. Had the space, she's not going to miss from there. 113 to a goal, knocking on a lead, or 213 to a goal, knocking on a lead, Full and Gales. Fahi, the goalkeeper. An outstanding performance from the uh, Full and Gales netminder. Beaten once with an error of her own and beaten the second time. By uh, a class knocking on a strike now. Jesse Byrne busy all throughout this game. Absolute tenacious, industrious player. After Kira Byrne. Lovely stroke out to Sarah Byrne. Now into space. They're starting to play now with a bit of panache, a bit of style. Sarah winds up and Sarah strikes in another score for knocking on it. They're cutting loose. 2.14 to a goal. 22 minutes on the clock. Fulham Gales would love, dearly love another score. Or two, possibly. Not easy to A, keep the game going, B, to, from reading the uh, preview article in the Irish Post, um, the difficulties they faced and the hurdles they had to cross, but not to be patronising in any way. But uh, that's another of a wide, another knocking on a wide from the hurl of Sarah Byrne. And a triple substitution by the looks of things on the Fulham Gale side. That wind is bitterly cold here in Avistown. Fingers are, are clasped around this mic and they're starting to they're starting to freeze. Puck out down as far as Kira Byrne. She's had a fantastic game, has Kira Byrne today. Strides into the territory. Amy Marr was off to her left if she wanted it. Oh, she sends it in. Fahi drops, but has the time and has the space to recover it as well. Rachel Byrne tried to block, but failed. Puck out down as far as Anya Byrne. On to Emily Mulhall, another woman who's put in a fine shift here. On to the substitute. That is number 21 for knocking on it. Ava Harmon. Fine young player, Ava Harmon. Real talent for the future. <coughs> Don, you born here now. She, Ava's getting some valuable experience here on this stage. Out comes Fahey, doesn't get her, but does. She's such a trustworthy, reliable goalkeeper. Blocked superbly by Sarah Byrne, who's taking a bang on the hand there. She's going to feel that today. Lovely take from the Fulham Gales woman. It's their number 10, class take, touch, touch off the hurl, Leanne O'Toole. And she wins herself a free. And she will take the free herself. Lovely bright orange boots, easily recognisable. The substitution has been made, I think the midfielder is gone for Fulham Gales. What we give for a public address system here it would make life a lot easier. The midfielder has gone number nine. Knocking on the attack, Ava Harmon. Ball spills loose to Amy Marr. Can't get it up. Out to Riley, number 21. We're trying to see what the number came in for Full of Gales, but we can't see it as of yet. Full of Gales now on the attack. What can they do? Last few minutes in this game here. Number 15, pink helmet. Nisha Wallace. It's a good, good chance. It's, it's a good chance that Nisha is actually the substitute, I think, is it possibly? 
Now, ball down here to Ava Howard. Does really well. Comes out with heavy traffic. Gives it on here to Sarah Bourne now. Took a knock in the hand just a second ago. Does well. Gathers. Now, into a bit of space. Has this time, has the space, looks to create, gives it off to Kira Bourne now. Potential here. Kira winds up and Kira strikes and Kira sends it over the bar. The space is there, they'll do it all day. 215 to a goal for Nakanana. Another substitution on the Full and Gale side. <coughs> Twenty-five minutes on the clock here. Not seeing who's going off as of yet. But it's number nineteen has come in for Full and Gales. That is Gemma Mooney, and it's number twelve making way, and number fifteen. So twelve and fifteen are leaving the fray. That's uh, Sirsha Hannan and Nisha Wallace, and being replaced by. We'll get the numbers in just a second. All change. All subs getting a run here before their frantic dash to the airport. Now, back in the hands of Guinan. One of the standout performance performers for the uh, Manchester outfit. Strides through the middle but faces Jesse Byrne. Not an easy task. Loses the ball. No free the referee. Kira Byrne now has... Emily will haul off her shoulder, but the ball is free, or the whistle sounds, and the guidance seems to have taken, up an, taken a knock. Play will be halted briefly. That's another jet flies overhead. 2.15 to knock and have one goal to Full and Gales. The early goal sort of gives the impression that uh, this was going to be a tighter affair than it turned out to be, but this knock and team are, are a very useful outfit, to be fair, and... Um, as I said, they're a team on a the, the mission this year. Looking for redemption. Hoping to go to the full distance to the final and win. Take home a title to the uh, border village in Wicklow. No Laura Hogan today too, it's worth noting I suppose. Star performer in the uh, Leinster final. Laura of course very busy. Playing with the uh, Wicklow Ladies Footballers last week as well as Emmy Mulhall and Jesse Byrne. To name just a few. Fahi takes the ball there from Sarah Byrne. Sends it out here to Emily Haddon. Haddon has been absolutely wonderful today, to be fair to her. Not much has got past her. Gives it to Anya Byrne, the full back. Sends it back in now. Here comes Rachel. Prowling as always. Dangerous as always. She has Ava Harmon off her shoulder if she wants. Gives it into Kira Byrne. Kira now in that bit of pocket of space that she loves in the edge of the D. She winds up and she strikes. And she pulled it, she's pulled it to the left and pulled it wide, unfortunately for Kira. And the game teetering out pretty much 28 minutes on the clock. I hardly see much uh, need for much injury time here, to be fair. Anya Byrne misses the bl attempted block. Added on here now. Can Full and Gales create something here with the last move of the game? No game will be stopped for an injury to Jesse Byrne. When Claire Bouse had possession. So, if I'm right, I think the... Game restart with a full and, ga full and gales free. An eerie silence descends on Abbottstown. Not a bad crowd, to be fair. A long line of people up the up the sideline here. The free to be taken by Guinan. Amory Guinan for full and gales. Sends it in long. They're looking for a goal. They're looking for a major. Ball hops to Loretta Gilbert. She doesn't clear it the first time. Does the second time. And Shannon Gotland's there, but the ball will be out for a 45. Dangerous attack there. Guinan walks sort of mournfully over to take this 45, you would look, you would think. Jesse Byrne is up and raring to go after her knock. I suppose if you were Tom Byrne, you'd have to be hopeful maybe because they performed reasonably well. Weren't probably as clinical as, as he would have liked. Too many wides, I imagine. But you can only beat what's in front of you, and they've done that here today. Semi final is there to be won, as the lad says. Guinan's uh, 45 is wicked, and it's over the bar. Good, good to see the score. Lovely score from Guinan from a 45. 29th minute. 2.15 plays 1 1. Gilbert's puck out down as far as the centre back for Full and Gales. It's Brolin McDonald. She's been busy today, in fairness to her. Sent the ball in long, but Shannon Gotland is way too alert for to allow that to go there. Puck out down here. 
And Reese going to skips inside. Oh, lovely ball down the field. Lovely ball into the danger zone. Michelle Rogers is there. A free, says the referee. A chop, he says. <coughs> Emily Haddon is none too pleased with that decision. And uh, stepping up to take it here for Fulham Gales is their number 10, Leanne O'Toole. Leanne goes for the score and hoists it over the bar for their second point of the day. 2.15 plays 1-2. 30, almost 31 minutes on the clock here as we edge closer to the final whistle. Knocking Anna will take their place in the AIB 2021 Junior B Camogie final. Their second all Ireland final in a matter of months. Alice, or Emily, Emily Haddon strides out for the ball. Does really well. So strong. Such a well-balanced hurler. Amy Marr now. Looks to send the ball into Kira Byrne. Kira now raising hard. Delightful, delightful touch off the hurl. Looks for Sarah. Sarah's there. Can't get it up first time. We'll have room for the second. Little flick off to Kira. Wasn't expecting it. Lovely touch on the hurl now. Sends it on to Ava Harmon. Aaron is there. Now can Ava get a little score for herself? No. Decides to uh, recycle out to Sarah Byrne. Sarah sends it long and Sarah sends it wide. Definitely a factor of this game that Tom Byrne will want to improve on. Wind at their backs, not under that much pressure, shouldn't be missing those scores. Referee calls for the ball, I think. Yeah, that's the final whistle here in Abbottstown. Nakanana have defeated Fulham Gales 2.15 to 1-2 in the AIB Junior B Camogie semi-final of 2021. They march on to the final. Brave effort for Fulham Gales. Got the early goal, but unfortunately, they couldn't maximise the potential with the wind at their backs. Due to the strong defence of Nakanana with Rachel Byrne and Kira Byrne in fine form up the other end, it was kind of on the drawing board from early on <coughs> how this game would work out. But listen, thanks very much for uh, joining us or re watching this video or whatever you're going to do. But um, a decent match, Nakanana march on. They need to improve, but they have the potential to do so. So, fair play. We'll talk to you in the next day.